Hi everyone, I'm in the middle of a high-tech endeavor, which is making yogurt. I am now boiling just regular plain whole milk to 185 degrees, and I use a kitchen thermometer. Oh, I just dropped it in there. Now I have to fish it out. How am I going to do this with my iPad in my hand? Ah, uh, I've got to do something. Help. <coughs> I'm getting a pair of trusty tweezers and going in there and getting that little rascal because I do need that milk thermometer to tell me the temperature. Ah! Oh dear, I've never done this before, but then again, I don't usually make this. Okay, so the temperature. Okay, it's going into the red on the thermometer. You can't see this, but it's going into the red, which means it's getting close to 185. Now you can see the texture of it. It's It's got vigorous steam coming off it and you can hear the electric stove going full tilt. You can hear the sounds coming from it. But let me see what the temperature is now. Uh, I got a little ways to go. So let me explain what you have to do to make yogurt. There's really very little you need. In fact, all you need is an old yogurt, an old plain yogurt that has the ingredients, the bio biotics, any, any plain yogurt will probably do. <clears throat> and then you need to have a half gallon of milk. Let me see the temperature now. Ah, it's getting there. It's about 175. So it's really just those two ingredients that you need. You need to boil your water to 185, as I am doing right now. <clears throat> and then the next step, which is very important, whoops, well, let me, let me backtrack just a second to tell you that it's important to use a spoon or something at the bottom and, and stir it continuously. Otherwise, you're going to get this scalding on the bottom, which is really nasty stuff of the milk. So, I'm about at, I'm saying that I'm at 185 now. I appear to be at 185. We're very, very close. Ah, I got a little tiny way to go. See how interesting it looks? It has this look, sort of a marshmallow fluff, when it's at about the right temperature. It's sort of got this sheen on it, but this fluffiness this smooth, sweet-looking fluffiness when it's the right temperature. Okay. It's not quite boiling, but <clears throat> you don't have to go to full, full boiling. It just has to be near boiling. Okay, so now what do I do once it hits 185? This is not very exciting what you do next because you do not add your yogurt into this pot yet. You can't. It'll kill it. Would you, would you dive into 185 degree water? No. Well, neither should yogurt. Okay, I'm turning this off now at 185. We are not going one single step further because we now have to sit around, oops, sorry, that was my hand, sit around and wait, twiddle our thumbs. Oops, see, I've got the scalding on the bottom because I couldn't do both of these things at the same time. Ah, so now I have my wooden spoon and I'm trying to get it off. That part is not so great. Now it's going to take probably somewhere between 20 minutes and 45 minutes for the yogurt to cool down. So you need to find something to occupy your time. But check your thermometer pretty often once 12 or 15 minutes go by because at that point you're, you're going to see the temperature is dropping. Now what do you do after you've waited all this time for this stuff to cool off? 
Then at 105 degrees, check it with your thermometer. Don't let it get too cold because I made the mistake of doing that and actually half of it came out good and the other half came out like sour milk. The part that came out good I did first and the part that came out like sour milk I did second and the earlier stuff I put in good insulation. Okay, so let's assume that you've waited and waited and you've checked your temperature and now you are at 105 degrees. What do you do next? Well, all you have to do is take, see that yogurt? That's my yogurt that I made last time. Take two spoonfuls of that, put it in the dish, and take a ladle full of this and put it in the same dish and mix it together. The idea is to just try to pre-mix it as much as possible. This yogurt that's active that I'm just finishing up here and the new milk which has been warmed <clears throat> or cooled to 105 degrees or so. Don't go too cold, don't go too hot. If you go too hot you'll kill the bacteria in, in the yogurt and if you go too cold it's not going to do a thing. So ne next step after you do that little pre-mixing is stick that pre -mix mixture right back down into this pot and stir it up good and then pour it into a container and this next step is important you must insulate it and I used, I used this ice bucket last time and it worked very well okay so take that take what you pour in there and insulate it and let it sleep like a baby overnight. Don't shake it around or anything because you've got to give those yeasties a chance to party. And the next morning you will find that you are going to have a delicious solid substance that once you put in the refrigerator or you could even eat it as is but I like it refrigerated first that will give you a lot of satisfaction because it tastes so much better than the store-bought stuff. You can put your own fruit in it instead of all that sugar that's in the store-bought ones. So enjoy. Okay, bye.